what is up guys average gear reviewer here back again with another video for you hopefully a quick one but i can't make any guarantees on that one so if you're not in for a long video you better get out now no i, I don't know um feeling super patriotic right now i've got my lynch northwest t-shirt on and if you watched uh, my one of my most recent videos i got in some new stuff from lynch northwest their northern lights and so today's video i'm going to be putting the northern lights you can see they're still sealed up in the package they're still brand new i'm going to put be putting these on the spider code pair of three. Oh yeah welcome to average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on And as always, guys, welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you stop by to watch one of my little videos. I hope that you learned something in this one. I'm sure that I'm going to learn something in this one. I've never changed these scales out before, so this will be a little something new for uh, me. Maybe not for you, but um, it will be for me. And um, if you're a returning viewer, good to see you again. I hope you guys are doing well. Anyway, uh, let's get over to the bench and get these scales on this thing. Don't you guys wish that we could just snap our fingers and use some video editing magic or something and, and it would just be done already? Wouldn't that be so much easier? Let's try it. You with, here we go. You ready? Yeah, here it is, guys. It's all put together. It didn't take any effort or time. All it just took was a snap of the fingers. That was so easy. Hey, just, just so you're aware that doing any kind of modification to the Spyderco uh, knives will void the warranty. So just, you know, like and subscribe. So I really quick, I did want to give a uh, disclaimer. I am not an expert. I've never changed the scales out on the uh, PM3, and I have never installed scales from Lynch Northwest. So this is going to be just <laughs> yeah, a, a learning experience all around. But I did watch a video on how to do it, of course. And um, so what what they're saying that you're going to need is you're going to need. Let's see. Gonna need a T10 bit. You're gonna need a, and I believe that is for the pivot. Yeah. You're gonna need a T8 bit for this screw. And then I didn't get this one out, but we will need also, we'll need a T6. And if I can get that to come out of there. So we'll also need a T6 bit, and we'll just leave that one on the little D1 driver there. We'll need a T6 bit for these screws that go into the clip. So for these, will be T6, and uh, we'll just go ahead and take these. Go ahead and take those off first. Uh, one of the other things that said that you'll need because this barrel is notoriously hard to take off and put back on. So one of the things they recommended was having a screwdriver, a nice long round screwdriver, and we're going to hopefully be able to run it up in between there and it'll pop off from the barrel. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, again, like I said, I've never done it before, so I'm not really sure how it's going to work. We are also going to use our green, our green slick from Flatanium. And if we need any, we've got some of the uh, blue stick as well. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get these off. And, and a hundred, uh, no joke, guys. I did not do this beforehand off camera just to make sure I could do it or that it was easy. So uh, this is the uh, going to be the raw experience here. I may fast forward some through some of these sections, some of the boring parts, um, but I'll try not to leave out any of the important steps. And I'll try not to just sit here and be quiet the whole time. So we got that clip off 
And uh, obviously, I'm going to be swapping that clip out with this. Let's go ahead and open these up. As you can see, I, I have not even opened the packaging up on these yet. So, again... Almost got my finger. God, this thing is so sharp. I don't know if you guys have a PM3 or not. Comment down below if you have one. These, uh, man, those things are so sharp. They are like evilly wicked sharp. Get off of there. And there's that clip. And I'll tell you guys, this is a great way to um, upgrade a knife. If you have a particular knife and you're kind of wanting something you know, different or you're wanting something a little more um, flashy or whatever, you know, you can, you could always order some scales and just completely change, you know, the whole look of your knife. And um, I can't wait to see what this one's going to look like once we get it all swapped out here. Is that the 10? I can't remember if this is a captive pivot or not. I believe it is. We're going to find out. I believe it is. It's nice. You love to see that. Also, a T10 on the pivot. Nice. Well, maybe it's not captive. Maybe it uh, unscrews from both sides. Okay, no, I don't think so. So, apparently, that is a captive pivot. All right. So let's swap out to the T8. We'll go ahead and get this pusky little bolt out of her. I don't really know what kind of bits they uh, put on these Oracle D1 drivers, but it's like a dual ended bit, and they are very tough. Sit that over there. Try to keep some of these pieces together. Okay, so. Kind of wondering if I have to take. Let's just try that. I thought in the video that I watched, I thought he took those. I thought he took the scales off one at a time, but I, I could be wrong. Maybe he did remove both of these screws. Hmm. Finally. Sheesh. Yeah, I could see why they say that thing's a pain in the ass. Okay, so we've got one, actually got one scale off. Yay! And that still works. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the blade off now. Um, and we'll get the washer. Well, here's my thing. Do I really have to take all that apart? I don't think that I do. I should be able to, you know, while we're in here, let me grab a uh, paper towel or something here. Real quick. I've got a paper towel to just, um, you know, wipe a little bit of this stuff down. Some of those internal parts. 
that's where there's been a little friction, might be some buildup there. You know, since we got it apart, might as well give it a little, little touch up, huh? Okay. And then when we put it together, put it back together. I'm going to put some of the the green slick on the bearings and in between the bearings. So I think we got to take. What's really cool is they uh, Lynch Northwest will send you, they send you the extra screws for it. So just in case you lose anything, that's a lot of peace of mind for me since I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, where'd my T8 go? Okay. Oh, T8 bit was in this one. <laughs> So I think you have to hold this spacer while you turn that. When we put it back together, we can put some of the blue stick on it. Okay, so get that one out. We'll just put it with the spacer that it goes. Okay. Now, if we take this pivot out, like I said, guys, I will try to fast forward a lot of this for you so that you guys don't have to sit through all of it. I don't know if that. Oh, it's really got some blue, some blue stick on it. Big time. Okay, guys, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I had to go look up what the issue was with this, and I figured out what it was. Apparently, Spyderco uses a ton of Loctite on their bolts, so you could probably see. I look, at, look at the threads on this one. You could, oh, and then it was gone. Oh, you could see. Let me get it up here close enough. It'll, it'll focus. You can see it's got a ton of Loctite on it, so... Uh, I basically had to heat it just to get that out, but it is out now and um, I'll just have to do a little bit more cleaning probably. And I'm not sure how to get these out. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, so this should release... Yeah, guys, I had to uh, I had to go watch a video to figure out what I was doing wrong here because I could not figure it out. And apparently, these just are really hard to get off because they flare these barrels. So yeah, just expect that whatever scales are on it, you're probably gonna tear them up pretty good taking them off. So you could see that uh, cut a nice little. Well, curly Q into the end of those G10 scales, which kind of sucks, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, I don't know that that has to come out. I don't think that it does. I need to clean that pivot some more. You can see on the pivot where I had to, had to burn it a little bit. Let's get that washer. Let's see, I think they have that washer Loctited on there as well, which is. I don't get it. But anyway, um, so we got that off. That's cool. We got the whole thing taken apart. So, okay, guys. Well, in, in the... <laughs> I'm just going to be completely honest with you. This is shot at a completely different time. I had to completely reshoot this because I tried and tried to put this together. I actually recorded an hour's worth of video that I'm not going to make you suffer through because I, I lost my mind for... Uh, a, a little while there. But anyway, so what I did is I had to reach out to somebody and, and I felt so stupid when I finally figured it out. This, this particular, the Lynch Northwest scales, you'll notice that only one side is milled out. And so it actually is, it's slightly milled out on this side. It, it's a liner delete. So the lock side is still going to go into that scale. 
but the other side, which is on the clip side of the scales, is actually deleted. So you don't use that. And guys, I'm telling you, I tried and tried and tried to put this back together. I just could not figure it out. Um, and so I wanted to give you that little piece of advice there. You know, of course, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video. If you if you do disassemble your Spyderco, it, it voids the warranty. And, you know, it did tear the scales up pretty good um, on this one side. And that's probably just me not knowing how to take them off. But also they do use a ton of um, a ton of blue stuff on it. And so it was really, really hard to get the screws and everything out. But anyway, so once we get it to this point, it's super easy. You just these scales snap in here. You'll probably have to get that barrel back on to um, this particular liner, but that's not too hard to do. And then, let's see, what is our next? Okay, yeah. So next we're going to put, we'll just rebuild it from this side. And... Yeah, no, 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 that's the standoff back here, I think. No, that's the standoff for back there. Yeah, okay, yeah, that is the pivot. Okay, my bad. Well, it would probably help if I flipped it around the right way. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this this took me so long to figure out. And uh, once I did get it figured out, I felt really, really, yeah, really silly. Um, and a shout out to Thomas over there at Lynch Northwest for being such a good guy. Oh, we got to put our other. Yeah, so this last part's going to be a lot quicker than the first part of the video. And I do apologize. Like I said, this is my first time ever swapping the scales on a pair of three um, my first time ever using lynch northwest scales so it was a first of a first of a lot of firsts so i'm gonna go ahead and put one pivot screw in on this side uh, i think that's my t10 just gonna lightly put that one in um, our spacer is already back in here so i'm gonna go ahead and release that The other pivot screw back in. That's one thing I gotta get. I gotta get a decent bit driver that has a magnetic head on it because that that drives me crazy how those bits fly out of there like that. Makes me crazy. So let's that pivot to in. Let's go ahead and tighten this one. Hey, that one's nice and tight. And you can see now the posts do go out to both sides. This is one thing I couldn't figure out before. I the post on this side didn't clear the scales and then this screw over here I could not I, it just wasn't long enough to reach the threads for the barrel so yeah I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong there um, and it just took a uh, somebody uh, very important to tell me hey man all you got to do is uh, just delete that one liner it's a liner side delete and I was like well <sighs> yeah that makes sense. Now, to really get this tight, you're going to have to hold that barrel down, which you don't really have to do. The biggest thing I'll recommend to you if you're going to do one of these scale swaps is just either mark or lay everything out so that you know exactly where it came from. Because I think a lot of this stuff is side dependent and you, and you have to put the pivot back in the way that it came out. You have to put the um, barrels and screws and everything seem to want to go back in the way that they came out. So, um, yeah, I did just want to give that little um, caveat in there. But it is perfectly aligned, as you can see now. It looks great. The scales look unbelievable on it. The action is just, like, really good. Okay, so loosen the pivot just a little bit. <laughs> 
right as I say the action's great, it's like clunk. But yeah. Oh yeah. Super. Looks it really looks incredible. Um and I love it with the uh with the pry bar as well. Looks super cool. The blue is just a, a beautiful blue in the way that it the way that it fades from one end to the other. I just think it elevates the pair of three to just a whole other level. Um, and if you've had anything from Lynch Northwest, you know that tends to be true. That their stuff it's just gonna take your gear to that next level. But yeah. Um, no, no blade plate at all. Guys, you can see it's perfectly centered. The action is just incredible on it. So yeah, all in all, my thoughts on the Northern Lights scales, they are absolutely incredible. And I just have to say, I'm, a, I'm a, such a noob at trying to put these together. So it took me way longer than it should have. It, and if I'd have just done a little bit of research, it would have taken so much less time. But, um, you know, I, I, a lot of times I just like to dive into stuff and not really um, do a lot of research. So that's my bad. That's my bad. But anyway, guys, I do thank you for watching. If you stayed all the way to the end uh, to see the knife in its final form, it does look incredible. It feels incredible. I can't recommend Lynch Northwest's stuff enough. Everything I've gotten from them, you know, forget the fact that it's made in the USA. Forget the fact that it's made by um, a small family owned business. Forget that the guy that came up with the original idea is just a straight up genius. Shout out to Casey, Casey Lynch there. Their stuff is incredible and it's polished. It's perfect. The only thing that was wrong with this was things that I was doing wrong in installing it. But once I got everything right, it is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to get some pocket time with this. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end, guys. I do appreciate it. Please leave a like down below if you like the video. It really does help the channel grow. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any of Lynch Northwest gear. I, I just got the Northern Lights stuff sent to me from them. Uh, shout out to Thomas and Casey over there. I really appreciate you guys. I love your gear. Anything else you want me to look at, I'm happy to. Uh, shout out Lynch Northwest there. But uh, anyway, guys, you know, like I always say, always be carrying. And remember, the best gear is the gear by Gen uh, Lynch Northwest. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The best gear is the gear you have on you, obviously. Anyway, Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.